What's up YouTube? It's your boy back again, Jody motherfucking Keith with another taxi confession story. And uh, you know, I drove a cab for a long time, but when I first got in it, man, it was very exciting. You know, I could pick up money, you know, drive around, make my own hours, pick up money, pick up women, having a good time, driving around. It was a great time. And then uh, I was in it for about a month, you know, and I picked up these people about a car full. I was driving a Crown Vic and I was in the French Quarter. I had four people in the car and we were having a good time, you know. I was cranking up the Dr. John. We were cruising down Royal Street. And if you've never been in the French Quarter, the streets are real narrow and like they have cars parked on the shoulder and you're driving up the street and like it's not much room to maneuver. And uh, so I'm cruising and you know how sometimes people park, you're not supposed to park close to the curb. And uh, there was a car parked close to the curb. And so I was just cruising, you know, hitting the Dr. John. I got the people in the car, you know, telling them stories, you know, telling them about New Orleans, you know, having a good ride. And then next thing you know, this kid, I call him a kid now. Back then I was 21. He was probably about my age. But he walks out from in between the car that's parked on the corner and the second car. He just walks out from in between the cars and walks walk across the street. He was looking at his phone walking across the street. So I slam on my brace and I tap the kid and he falls on the ground. Now I'm living a good life right now or what I thought was a good life at the time. And I'm over here and I'm thinking like, yeah, cab driver's gonna be great. This is great. Everything's great. I'm having a good ride. And then I tap this kid and he falls on the ground. And all I can think about, man, I just stop and I cover my face up and I'm like, fuck man, I'm going to jail. I'm like, fuck man going to jail man I was having a great time now I'm going to jail and I was like fuck so then I just looked up and then there was a cop parked on the cross street right there and he was just sitting in front of his car he saw the whole thing and he I was like now nah, I'm definitely going to jail <laughs> my cop right there so the fucking cop walks over and he's like true New Orleans fashion the motherfucker's like hey hey man what the fuck you doing walking across the street Mama ain't never taught you to look both ways. Get, come on, get your ass up. Get and so the the kid, I see him like emerge above my hood. You know, he's getting up and he gets up, and I'm like, "Holy shit, dude, this dude's okay." And the cops like, "Yeah, man." He's like, "You need to get off that damn phone, man." And so he's like just bickering with this fucking dude who just got hit by a car, and the kid starts walking off, and I'm in disbelief, man. I'm just sitting there like, uh, what the fuck is happening right now? You know, and I'm like, oh, shit. So now this cop's gonna come over here to me, so then I'm looking at the cop like, you know, what now? I mean, I'm not driving off. I'm not fucking getting no hit and run or nothing. What's up? You know, and the kid, he scurries off, you know, because the cop was yelling at him, and fucking cop looks at me, and he's like, come on! Come on! You're holding up traffic. Come on. And so I fucking drove off and I could not fucking believe that I did not go to jail. I was like, I'm going to jail, like literal face and hands, you know, to, oh my God, what the fuck just happened? I'm out of here. And with a fucking car full of people. Oh, this shit was nuts. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you know, sometimes you're in uh, the wrong place at the right time or the right place at the wrong time and, uh. You know, shit just worked out right there. I got lucky. Lucky as a motherfucker. But, uh, you know, led to some more cab days. I thought my cab days were done. You know, they're done now. But, shit, went and got all these stories. So, if you enjoy the story, you know, you know what it is. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. Tell your friends, though, where to find us over here. If, uh, you know, what, what's the craziest thing you ever hit in a car? You know, leave a comment. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. One love, good vibes.